Big news for you, Loris, today. You're a Yamaha rider as of today. Yeah, and a 10 kit rider, so yeah, really exciting day. Uh, it's been a long winter for me, so I'm, now we have to wait a little bit more, but I'm really excited to start this project. What does it mean for a rider if he knows that there's no space for him in 2019? What did you do during the winter? Well, it was um, you know a long process already uh, started last year when we were, we were talking to a few teams for, for this year. But um, yeah, there was nothing to nothing sure that I was able to find to fight for the top spot this season and I didn't want to have the same season as I had last year so uh, we talked with my manager and I said if we have to stay home we stay home and we wait uh, we wait to have an, an opportunity with a, with a good bike um, so yeah it's not easy when you finish the season but then uh, we started to talk after a few months with um, with Kevin and uh, I had a few possibilities also to go to BSB or Motor America, but uh, I said, okay, we wait and we hope that this project will come up together in 2019. Uh, but a part of that, I, I really did the same winter as if I was riding in January. I've been training really hard. Uh, uh, I've, I took a new coach for the, all the physical training and uh, I did, uh, did some testing with the bikes. I have ice ride all the winter at home. And then, uh, yeah, I've been testing a few bikes in Spain just to to be able to keep that uh, a little bit the speed. And yeah, but uh, just the weeks feel so long. Uh, when you're a rider, the weeks feel always too short when you travel. But when you are home and just waiting the, the, to, to sign the contract and then to ride, uh, the weeks feels uh, every week feel like a year. It seemed like, well, we got the impression that you knew what was coming, obviously that they were working on a project that you were going to be part of, but you had to keep silent. Was that difficult? Well, at the beginning, uh, yeah, we were talking, but there was nothing sure, you know, for, for a few months, there was nothing sure that, uh, yeah, every week the, the possibility of the, this happening was growing up. But uh, when we started talking, we didn't even know if it was 20 person or 50 or 70, you're never sure. So uh, since we signed a few day or a few weeks ago, uh, yeah, it was easy to keep silent, you know. Yeah, everybody is asking you and I was, uh, I was at the motor show last week and everybody was asking me because they know there was a com press conference or, you know, if a team announced they're coming back and uh, they just look the riders available and there are not so many. So mm -hmm. I was in, everybody was asking, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, keeping it silent was not the hardest part. The hardest part was uh, to, to go from the first discussion until the moment we signed. Was, uh -huh. That was long. Um, what about the team? I mean, you've seen the team in the paddock, you know what the team can do. What do you think the team and you can do in this year then, now that you've missed quite a lot of races? Well, we all know um, Tenkate, you know, it's uh, such uh, an emblematic team. And I think when you talk about Tenkate, it feels like you talk about the Superbike. They're, it feels like they're here forever. They won in every category and uh, yeah, uh, I've been able to, to see what uh, Tenkate means in Holland since a few years. And uh, yeah, I think they are, we are exactly in the same situation. We had, uh, I had a tough last year and they had a tough last few seasons. And um, I think they want to show that they're still the team that they were winning uh, every week a few years ago. And they are able to do it again. And I want to show that uh, I can fight for the podium every race like I was doing uh, when, I, when I left for MotoGP. So uh, exactly the same ambition. And I think that makes uh, the combination of us really motivated. And yeah, I think uh, we will have a strong package from the beginning, so we should be able to fight for the, for the podium really soon. Uh, this bike is fighting for the podium every week with the, the other riders, the four other riders, so uh, we should be able to do it uh, pretty soon. Obviously, you're very eager. How many races do you think you've, you will be able to, to challenge for the podium? You say hopefully soon, but when do you think that can be? Well, I don't know, because we don't know the, the exact scheduled so far you know uh, we still hope to to be on the grid in Imola and uh, of course if you ride if we race in Imola we will um, not test so much before if we race in Jerez then we will have a few more day testing so of course if we go at the race with a few more day testing we can I think fight uh, straight away really close to the podium if we if we don't have any test then the first race will be more like uh, like a test so I, I have no idea but for me I think uh, uh, it will not take uh, many races before to be able to fight with these guys. Okay, thanks, Lawrence. Thanks.